So today we're going to be talking about um, our equipment and how we scuba dive. So basically, some of your few basic pieces of equipment are your BCD, which is your buoyancy control device. Basically, it's what helps you stay afloat in the water without going too far down. You can add both weights and air to it. And then, um, yep, <laughs> then you have an air tank. Good old air tank. And then you also have a regulator and an octo. So basically your regulator is what you breathe out of and mine's a balanced regulator which means that I can breathe at the same pressure as I'm breathing here as I can like 60 feet down under. And then I also have a dive computer which works also as an SPG which is your basically it's helps you find out how much air you have because it's air integrated and then I also have a compass on mine and that'll differ as you can see with Emily and her dad's equipment and then this is a connector hose which connects to my BCD so that it can fill up with air from the tank and then we also have other things too like I have um, I actually have a warm water wetsuit with me today so I might be a little bit cold but I also have a skin to put under it for an extra layer and then I have gloves and a hood to keep me warm so the hood goes on my head and gloves go on my hands and then I have booties goggles <laughs> and fins and a dive knife and a uh, weight belt which is different because Emily and her dad both use integrated weights yeah. yep and also Phoebe told me this cool little bottle that has stuff we put in our masks because if you've ever been swimming and you know that your goggles get really foggy so you have to keep rinsing them off every two seconds so this will help our goggles stay clear for the whole dive. Hi guys! So you just saw me with Phoebe's gear explaining all her stuff, but now I'm going to explain my gear and my father's gear. So we have most of the same equipment. We have a BCD, we have a tank, and a wetsuit. We also have our booties, our gloves. But the difference is with my wetsuit is that my hood is attached to my wetsuit. So Phoebe has a separate hood, but mine's attached. It's a cold water wetsuit. It's very thick. Eight mil. And what are they normally? Uh, the cold water is usually seven to eight mil. Uh, Phoebe's, I think, is a three or four mil. Yep. Phoebe will probably be a little chilly today. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys also saw that on Phoebe's regulator, she has a gauge that looks kind of like this. But her gauge has a computer built into it. Me and my father both have separate computers that are like watches. So we can flip through the different settings on our watches to see how deep we are, what the temperature of the water is, and all sorts of things. Emily dives with a 63 CFM tank. My tank's a little bit bigger, it's an 80 CFM. Um, basically just weight and size. Emily's smaller than me, so she uses a smaller tank and Phoebe uses a smaller tank as well. It's a little easier to maneuver. And we're talking weight-wise? A little bit heavier on the, yeah. on the 80. Okay, go. Uh, so I'm sliding my BCD over my tank with the straps. The straps hold the tank in place. You want to get this set up so, so that this is not going to bang you in the head when you're in the water. So you get it at the right height and then you tighten up the straps and make sure they're tight so that so the tank stays afoot. And you're all doing that, right? It's We're all, all the same the process? Same, the same process on the BCDs. Okay, great. It's, right. good to, it's good to test that your tank is tight enough by picking it up and giving it a good shake. And then we'll put on our, our regulators. Are your are the regulators universal, or do they um, are they specific to each one of you? Nope, they're all the same. They all hook up to the tank the same way. Okay. Um, you just make sure you get them on right and, and tight. Usually, your your regulator that you breathe through will stay on your right side. Okay. And your and your gauges are on the left. That's okay. how we, that's how we dive. I mean, are there such a thing as left-sided regulators? I mean, that things get mounted opposite oh, for people yeah, with... People, people that are more comfortable can, uh, you know, do it the other way, but uh, most people are right. dive this, this way. Get this way. And um, the regulators have these bits on them right here, so we can rearrange each of these tubes any way we want to fit our own comfort. So this is our primary regulator. Right. 
Emily and I have this style that goes on our inflator hose for our secondary, our backup. Okay. Evie has the octo, which is the yellow hose. Yeah. Um, that's her. That's her second, her, her spare. Um, I prefer this this style because it's it's easier to handle. You, you always know where this is because you're running these to put air in your vest and you're letting it air out. Mm -hmm. um, so you're always aware of where this is. Sometimes Phoebe's might be dragging behind her and if she needs it in, a, in an emergency, she's got to look for it. So I like to have mine right here where I can always reach it. Um, the, the, the mouthpiece that you put in your mouth, in, is, that, is that specific for you or is that universal? Those are universal. I think they make a little bit larger size, you know, for smaller, for smaller people get a small one. Yeah. But they're all pretty much the same. But do you have the same size as your as your dad, or do you, is yours smaller? We both have the exact same one. All right. So I'm putting I'm putting on my skin right now. So basically, it's like that. It's my thinnest layer of warmth, and it's really skin tight. And mine, I've had mine for a few more years than Emily has. Emily usually needs to use suit juice for hers to get hers on. Right. But is this a similar type thing that you wear if you ski? Or is it uh, specific? Yeah, I guess it, I think it, it kind of compares to long johns in a sense. Yeah. It's just a uh, different material because it gets wet. <laughs> I might need that when next time I go skiing because I'm yeah. always cold. You can, um, I like that. A lot of people in the tropics, they just wear this for sun protection. Yeah. So that you don't actually have to wear a wetsuit. So people swim in that? Is that what this yeah. Is? Okay. You can swim in it or surf, or surf in it. Or surf it's in just it. like a really, it's, this is like really just for like sun protection. It okay. doesn't really keep you too warm. Okay. So I'm trying to put on my wetsuit <laughs> and it's a little bit bulkier than Phoebe's. Mine's actually eight mils and it takes a lot of wriggling to get into this suit. So I'll probably be here for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> because you don't have your suit No, juice. I forgot my suit juice today, which is basically a spray that helps us get the suits on, but we'll have to go without it today. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm pretty much all geared up right now. I have my hood on, I have my wetsuit, my skin's underneath my wetsuit, I have my gloves, which are five and a half millimeters of neoprene, I have my booties, which are six and a half millimeters of neoprene to keep me warm. Pretty much all I have left are my fins, my mask, and then my actual diving equipment that's already set up. So now um, um, Phoebe's got her mask on and she has matching flippers. Yep. We need a matching tank now. <laughs> yep, that's next on the list. So, how are you feeling? Good. Ready Hot. to go? A little toasty. <laughs> you feel a little toasty? Yep. Okay, you ready to go in? Oh, yeah. Okay. I can't wait.